everyone welcome back to my channel RJ trades in this video I'm gonna kind of walk through how to buy and sell uh, spread in thinkorswim desktop app so a uh, desktop app is available for both Mac and Windows and it's a great web uh, great applications and uh, it has a lot of lot of functionality you can kind of browse through it so um, I'm gonna kind of show you kind of hover around so this is once you log in you, you can use the same username and password for your mobile their mobile platform is really cool too but desktop has a lot of uh, great charting functionality uh, for example uh, this is uh, this is the chart uh, I'm using and uh, you can see this is Apple and uh, kind of zoom if you want zoom and uh, you can play around with it uh, to eat add a lot of studies so here's VWAP, DEMA and just some volume things I, I have but you can add uh, whatever you want there's RSI, MACD, TTM squeeze, um, average volume so I always look at volume so I have that so uh, if you guys are interested comment below I can add how I, I can make a video on how to add those but in this video more than that we are kind of talking about how to kind of uh, look into uh, how to buy and sell uh, a spread in thinkorswim so we'll go back but yeah uh, charting and also i'll just kind of briefly go over a few more things a lot of people so a uh, lot of people are kind of wanted to need news right so this is a lot of other functionality news right so you can actually see whatever the news they have about that particular ticker for example if i do google it will have all the google news and so it's it's pretty quick and it grab all the websites and this is level two data uh, we won't have well it's a kind of still data i guess it's after hour but you can these are the exchanges arca nasdaq ads as x uh, so um, the words the bid and uh, ask is coming from so you can see those and other than that uh, you have a lot of information so you can kind of uh, play around with uh, you can just buy sell you can auto send that's that's your trading uh, auto trader uh, here you will have all the bid and ask in the real time when the market opens so that's pretty cool and you you will yeah pretty much uh, those are so you can kind of browse through and go through it it's pretty cool so okay so we are here to show you uh, how to buy a spread so how do you buy um, call vertical spreads or put whatever you can use any strategy but i'm just gonna uh, show you uh, some and how to close them too so let's get it started so first you go to trade tab in trade tab uh, there's nothing but yeah there's come so you can put any ticker so for example i'm gonna put a square uh, so a square once you put that uh, you'll get option chain right you'll get option chain so option chain is basically what date so this is the date of expirations this is how many days remaining and this is 100 is uh, it's 100 underlying so there are some options which is 75 underlying but this is 100 and just these are weekly weekly expirations or whatever so you can see it's up to 16 september 2020 um, you can buy up to that time and it has a few things like what was the last price what's the change what's the bid ask and what's the size what was the today volume what price it open high low and a little bit of those and um, i have position intrinsic so but you can change this or even customize so you can do delta gamma vega and kind of see it so let's see like uh, this is how many days remaining for the expiration let's pick up this one right so also the strike you can choose like it's all so if you don't want to don't want to see all you can do like 12 so it, it will just show 12 strike but you can always change and even show others so here we are kind of uh, talking about uh, buying a vertical debit spread right debit call spread so this is call this is puts so there's calls there's there's delta so let's say we're gonna do uh, uh, 39 delta so you click there you right click and you do buy and you can choose your strategy right so you can choose your strategy we are doing vertical um, so vertical call so if we choose vertical it's gonna pop up this so this is vertical buy so there's 10 you can kind of adjust whatever how many call 
uh, there's probably some way uh, but uh, you can just do it manually or whatever so this is a one you are just buying one uh, vertical call there with the spirit vertical call means you are buying uh, same expirations um, you are buying lower strikes and selling upper strike and you pay net debit for this so net debit it means you are paying your risk is just the 80 dollars so it says dollar so this is limit so you have mid uh, and that's up so usually uh, you, you should target for uh, mid price and uh, whatever it is don't pay market if you do market uh, it will be kind of expensive um, so um, yeah uh, you can actually change to market type but if you do market it will be a lot expensive so uh, usually I would suggest to the limit and if it's not executing you want to get in maybe just keep increasing a little bit if you are in hurry but I'll just leave it uh, to usually execute if not that's fine you can move to other once you have that right so once you have that I'm just gonna confirm and send and we'll see tomorrow how it goes but uh, yeah let me change it to 40 that's less, less risky I guess let's do 40 I'm just doing random because market not I don't know how this we're gonna open this is just for demo so once you have that all you do is uh, confirm and send once you confirm and send you're gonna show you so you are buying one vertical square uh, this expirations this this at 40 and break even stock price is 65 40 65.40 cause you buying 165 67.5 vertical call and uh, you just add whatever your cost to the lower leg so that's your max profit you could make is 210 cause uh, width of the spread is 2.5 so 2.5 um, 100 is 250 minus 40 your cost so that's your max profit and max loss is this max profit to get a max profit you always need it it needs to be by the expiration you will not get uh, uh, you will not get max profit before expiration also a lot of people are confused like do they have to wait to sell it no you can sell it like just you bought it you can sell it next seconds if you are profitable you can close out in fact most of the people do not wait wait till expiration if you are up nicely you should sell it that's what i do so that is the cost of trade with the commission and everything and what's the results going to be in buying power and things like that once you do that you just do send and it's going to send it and once the price hits it's execute that's all so it's the same thing for other strategy too if you are doing some other strategy um, let's say uh, i want to cancel this one delete but uh, oh why it's doing this Yeah, okay yeah you can select any other strategy same thing same way just to buy or if you can sell sell it and let's say you are doing like you're making a calendar right uh, just the calendar it's gonna come exactly like that you can reduce or whatever number uh, so in this case let's say you want to buy five just do five you can always change your strike price here too if you want a 160 170 let's say something like that you can always uh, always change that too so uh, you can change those um, your price and you can you can customize anything so even change make it something else uh, by selling or whatever right you make it a debit spread change your expiration or um, you can change anything and uh, you just do the same thing confirm and send and send I'm not gonna send this one uh, so uh, you can you can it's the same process like whatever you're buying call uh, call credit is spread uh, call debit spread, um, put credit spread, put debit. You can just, uh, it's the same exact process. Just select there, you're buying, buying, then uh, whatever, you know, verticals or whatever. Uh, just select your uh, strategy and uh, do that. Once you do that, now uh, I think you already bought it. Now you want to sell it, right? So sell it. You have, if you go to monitor, you will have, uh, there's two ways. So I'm going to show both. So yeah, let's do this. So I have this diagonal, Boeing diagonal. So what you can do is select this, uh, shift, and you need to select both. So whatever uh, spread you have, you select both the leg. Then you right click it and create closing order. And you just do sell. Uh, it's going to say vertical debit spread for you if it's a vertical spread. 
uh, you not doing by one and one you're doing the both the legs so once you do that click there then it's gonna come up and uh, here debit I paid before here I'm getting credit so I'm gonna if I sell this I'm gonna get 7117 which is seventy one hundred um, and seventeen dollars so that's my that's what I'm gonna get and once you do that you're gonna do confirm and send and it's gonna show me uh, that's what I'm gonna get credit and that's commission and what's my resulting buying power and things like that and once you do that uh, just send it and uh, once the price reaches because uh, uh, you are doing the limit order limit order means it has to reach that price right so if it never reaches, it it may never execute too so once it reaches it's gonna execute one more thing uh, so you have an option there J uh, day and GTC so day stands for uh, if the order does not execute by end of day it's gonna automatically cancel and GTC it, it st stands for good to cancel so if the order is not executed today it will try tomorrow so if it if it reaches uh, your limit price tomorrow it will execute so yeah and that's how you close it uh, so I'm gonna delete this the other other way you can actually do that is uh, right here in the option chain itself you have let's say uh, apps on net I guess uh, yeah apps on net so net right same thing net I have both the option right so you can actually select right here too and uh, you don't even need to go to their, uh, the monitor tab you can actually do create closing order and sell diagonal and it created the same thing same process and you can do it from there too so you can do either way whatever you prefer but that's about it that's how you buy call um, call or put or debit spread credit spread or diagonal or uh, you know iron condor butterfly whatever strategy you're looking for um, you can do that few more thing I guess I can go over it uh, so I'm gonna delete this few more thing you can do is there's a lot of see this is positions you can even I think you can even go here and right uh, select and kind of do uh, close that that way too but I think you need to select the both the both the end uh, so you can do it from there too anyway so other thing is like it has a lot of data you can look into the delta gamma theta vega if you want to look uh, and a lot of people there's a um, intrinsic and extrinsic value if you want to see somewhere the uh, yep position intrinsic so you can see where's the this is all all of the money that's why it just have extrinsic value this has intrinsic value that's why as you go deep in the money your intrinsic value increases and extrinsic value decreases that's the reason i go deep in the money and you can see a lot of the stats right volume open interest um, so if you want to see volumes where's the volume is which contract how to choose so you can decide a lot of those uh, looking at these data points um, you can look at uh, delta gamma uh, intrinsic uh, volume so implied volatility probability right what are the chances of getting in the money so if you buy this uh, probability out of the money so out the money right so uh, you can see a lot of those uh, um, those information right here so yeah um, that's it for today if you have any more questions or you want me to make more video about it just a comment below and I will make one but till then see you and if you have not don't forget to like and subscribe thank you